the assassination of a Hamas leader overnight that could have major repercussions for the war in Gaza. Ismail Haniyeh, a political leader who is one of the chief negotiators in the ceasefire talks, was killed in Iran just after attending the inauguration of the country's new leader. This comes on the heels of another major assassination of a top Hezbollah leader in Lebanon. MTS Tayyip is in Beirut. MTS, good morning. Good morning. Well, it really does feel like the Middle East is on the brink of a major escalation following what appears to be two assassinations carried out by Israel in a matter of hours, including here in Beirut. Now, one of the men killed, Ismail Hania, Hamas's political chief, has been a key negotiator for a ceasefire and hostage release deal with Israel. But any potential agreement is now in major jeopardy. Chaos in the immediate aftermath of the Israeli airstrike in the southern Beirut neighborhood of Dahia. When we arrived shortly afterwards, hundreds had gathered after learning four people, including two children, were killed and at least 70 wounded in the attack. Well, you might be able to see over my shoulder that building over there that was damaged in that Israeli strike. And as you can imagine, it's a scene of real chaos here, but also one of real anger. In a move almost unheard of, the Israeli military claimed responsibility for the strike and named its target. Fuad Shukur, also known as Said Muhsan, Hezbollah's most senior military commander and the head of its strategic unit. Israel says Shukur was responsible for a rocket attack on a soccer field over the weekend that killed 12 young people in the Golan Heights. But before Hezbollah could even respond to his apparent killing, Iranian state TV announced another major assassination. Ismail Haniya, the leader of Hamas's political wing, while Iran blamed Israel for the killing, Israel has remained silent. But it's triggered panic in the Iranian capital, with the Revolutionary Guard ordering an immediate overhaul of the nation's internal security. The assassination has other major implications too. Hania was leading ceasefire and hostage release negotiations for Hamas and was widely seen as more moderate and pragmatic than Hamas's military leaders who, after nearly 10 months of brutal warfare, continued to battle Israeli forces in Gaza. The fear now is those talks could be completely abandoned. And this morning, Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin said all-out war in the region is still not inevitable. But following Israel's attack in Beirut and the assassination in Tehran, that may be wishful thinking as Hezbollah, Hamas, and now crucially Iran, will no doubt respond. Nate. Antias Tayyab in Beirut, thank you.